Hello everyone, welcome to the ITLS Academy. Today we are going to perform uh, isolation of DNA from human blood sample. But before we uh, start this experiment, we need few uh, buffer solutions. The very first is lysis buffer, second is protease buffer, third is 10% SDS solution and fourth is 5 molar of NaCl solution. So first of all, we are going to talk about how we are going to prepare lysis buffer and what is the function of lysis buffer. Before I told you about that, what is the composition of lysis buffer? let me tell you what is the function of lysis buffer lysis buffer basically used for the disruption of cell membrane now we are talking about the lysis how we uh, what is the composition of lysis buffer and how we so, so uh, the composition of lysis buffer is basically sucrose triton x100 magnesium chloride and rich buffer 10 uh, we require 10.96 gram of sucrose and 1 ml of triton x100 100 milligram of magnesium chloride and 140 milligram of trich base so this composition is required for the preparation of lysis buffer in 100 ml but the uh, the percentage which i told you we need to uh, uh, dissolve all these in 50 ml and we need to maintain the ph 7.5 and after maintaining the ph remaining 50 ml of uh, uh, distilled water we will add in the mixture and now this is the 100 ml prepared lysis buffer so this is our very first buffer solution which is used during the isolation of dna from human uh, blood sample now uh, second buffer solution which is required that is protease buffer now first of all what is the function of protease buffer and why we use it in uh, dna isolation so basically protease buffer is used for the disruption of protein present in the uh, human blood sample the composition required for the preparation of protease buffer is sodium chloride edt and distilled water we prepared this protease buffer solution in 50 ml and we divide this 50 ml into 25 ml and 25 ml first of all uh, we dissolve 1.25 gram of nacl 2.24 gram of edta and uh, in 25 ml of distilled water and uh, maintain the ph 8 and after maintaining the ph we dissolve the remaining 25 ml of the distilled water in the solution and now this is our 50 ml of uh, protease buffer solution Go. So next uh, solution required is 10% uh, SDS. SDS is basically sodium dodecyl sulfate. So uh, we prepared it in 100 ml of distilled water and for uh, uh, preparing this we required 10 gram of SDS and dissolve it in 100 ml. So the R 10% of SDS solution is prepared. So so next solution is 5 uh, molarity of sodium chloride solution. What we basically need to do first of all, uh, we need to use a formula to calculate how much weight we need to dissolve of NaCl in 100 ml of distilled water. And the formula which we used is weight is equal to number of moles into uh, molecular weight of sodium chloride into 100 upon 1000. So our uh, number of moles we are having 5, um, uh, that is the number of moles. 5 molarity is what number of moles and molecular weight of NaCl is 58.44 gram and while we put these value in the formula we get the weight 29.2 gram so we need to uh, dissolve 29.2 gram of NaCl in 100 ml of distilled water and after dissolving we get the 5 molarity of NaCl solution so these are the 4 basic solutions which we required uh, during the isolation of DNA from human uh, blood sample so now we are going to perform the uh, isolation of dna from human blood sample for that we already collect the blood from the laboratory now what i am going to do i am going to pour 0.5 ml of a human blood sample in each of the appendrop and uh, with the help of micro pipette as you can see i uh, pour 0.5 ml of uh, blood in each of the appendrop and after adding this we need to add 0.5 ml of lysis buffer in each of the appendrop and mix it properly so after pouring human blood sample in each of the appendrop now i am going to add 0.5 ml of lysis buffer in each of the appendrop and we need to mix them properly 
and after uh, pouring 0.5 ml of uh, lysis buffer in each of the append drop and mixing it properly we need to centrifuge it at 11500 rpm for 5 minutes So after performing the centrifugation, now we are going to discard the supernatant. See, as you can see, we uh, the here two layers are visible. This is a light color layer and this is a dark color layer. We need to discard this dark color layer. Okay, and after discarding the supernatant, we need to add 400 microliter of lysis buffer to each of the app and drop and repeat the process till we get the white pellets and the centrifugation time and the RPM we need to maintain the same 11,500 RPM for five minutes. After discarding the supernatant, I am going to add 400 microliter of lysis buffer to each of the app and drop. As you can uh, see, I already set on micro pipe at 400 microliter. Now I am going to add this uh, much amount of lysis buffer to each of the app and drop and then centrifuge again at 11,500 rpm for 5 minutes. And we need to repeat this procedure till we get the white pellets. But uh, you need to make sure that. Uh, while you discard the supernatant palette should not be destroyed and repeat this process till we get the white palettes so after performing centrifugation for at least three times we are having now the palettes as you can see in the epindrome we are having these palettes and we discard the supernatant very, very carefully now what i am going to do we need to add 400 microliter of distilled water in each of the epindrome and mix it with uh, uh, pellets very carefully we need to dissolve the pellets properly in the distilled water and then we need to uh, perform the centrifugation at 11500 rpm for at least 5.5 minutes and after that we need to discard again the supernatant so after adding 400 microliter of distilled water in each of the app and drop, now I'm going to mix it with uh, pellets as you can see. And after mixing, we need to perform the centrifugation again at 11,500 rpm for at least 5.5 minutes. After performing the centrifugation uh, by mixing the 400 microliter of distilled water, now I'm going to discard the supernatant. Again, we need to discard the supernatant very carefully so that the pellets should not be destroyed. Now, after discarding the supernatant of each epindrop, we need to add 100 microliter of protease buffer, 10 microliter of 10% SDA solution, 120 microliter of NaCl solution, 300 microliter of distilled water, and this is 400 microliter of mixture of chloroform and phenol. In this, uh, by, for the preparation of this, we add 4 ml of uh, phenol and 1 ml of chloroform. So now I am going to add 100 ml of uh, 100 microliter of protease buffer 100 microliter okay. Now what we are going to do, we are uh, we have to add 100 microliter of protease buffer. And now we need to add 10 ml of 10 microliter of 10% SDS solution. And we need to add 120 microliter of NaCl, 5 molarity NaCl solution. Now firstly mix it slowly and after mixing it we need to add 300 microliter of distilled water and 400 microliter of mixture of chloroform and phenol. So now I am going to add 300 microliter of 
distill water to it. And now add 400 microliter of this mixture of chloroform and phenol. So after adding all these reagents, we need to again centrifuge it at 11,500 rpm for 10 minutes. So after performing the centrifugation by mixing all these reagents, you can see in the pen drop that we uh, uh, saw two of the layers. The very first layer, second layer and here is the palette as you can see. Now what we are going to do, we need to uh, separate the upper layer or we can say discard this upper layer. Discard it very carefully so that the other layer should not and after discarding by the same manner we are going to add 1 ml of absolute alcohol as you can see I already set uh, that is 1 ml in the micropipette now after adding absolute alcohol to each of the app and drop we need to incubate it for 30 minutes at minus 20 degrees celsius so after incubation at minus 20 degrees celsius now uh, we centrifuge the appendrof at 12,000 rpm for 10 minutes now after centrifugation as you saw the white pellets are observed in the appendrof and we need to discard the supernatant again and after uh, discarding the supernatant we need to add uh, 100 microliter of ethanol to it and again centrifuge so after discarding the supernatant first of all we need to discard it very carefully so that the pellets should not be discarded now after discarding uh, the supernatant we need to add 70 percent of ethanol of 100 After performing the centrifugation, we need to discard the supernatant and after discarding supernatant, we need to air dry the pallets so that the smell uh, should fly off and after that we need to add stress buffer 